I think the heaviest thing we've ever had on the bench. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. So doing that, hold on. Let me, let me put this in perspective here. Just dropping this winch on my bench broke my entire lower corner here. So it gave out, it popped out the bolt, dropped this lower bracket, and now my, my, fuck. Anyways, I digress. We have a real... Now our bench that was previously unstable is now super unstable. Hold on, let me find a box cutter. All right, all right, we got the uh, good old box cutter here, but I think we can uh, do one better. Yeah, well, that's a box cutter. All righty, this is the 9,000 pound winch. I didn't opt for the 1,200 pound winch because it was a... Uh, a lot of fucking money and this one was relatively speaking not a lot of money well I don't have one for this okay. guy at the harbor freight shop said thousand pound winch that's bang for your buck what is this what is this okay we got our uh, our metric bolts i'm assuming i don't know what those are for yet our instruction manual our beefy hook sheesh g70 i'm assuming that means gavin oh it's forged steel okay and I've also got an accompanying, an accompanying uh, toe strap here. 10,000 pound brake strength. Uh, working load is 3,333 pounds, which is just a little bit above the range that I need to be at. And then we've got our winch controller here. Pull it out, pull it in. Okay, I should have opted for the wireless one. Maybe I'll go back for it one day. Depends. Just so I don't hit the wire here. All right. This is, um, I'm assuming this is our ground clamp. It looks like my ground clamp. This is the, uh, what is this? All right. I've got the, uh, ooh, shoo. Love me to look a little better. What does this do? I'm assuming this is the thing that bolts to my frame. Somewhere, somehow. I'm assuming it bolts to my frame somehow. This looks nice. This is really quality. You can just... Mm, just has that heft to it. And then we have our, what I'm only assuming is our controller box that mounts on top of the winch. It says Badland on top of it. It's plastic. And this is where the winch controller connects. And we've got a ground. Uh, two more grounds. A power lead, and a, I'm assuming this is the power lead that goes to your battery. Hmm. I should actually probably find a battery to hook this up to, just for demonstration purposes. Alright, so I've acquired a battery. At least I think I've acquired a battery. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think I got a battery. And then, uh, only thing I'm left now is the winch. How heavy do you think this is going to be? Okay, this is where all the... All the weight is in the box. Jesus, man. It's good that it's heavy, though. I'm not mad that it's heavy. Definitely not mad it's heavy. Okay. So this is where, I'm assuming, where's my 
Okay, so this is where my shackle would go. Gotta get this cotter pin out of here. You know, coming down with a case of the Rona. Let's put this cotter pin back in. Actually, I'm gonna just get a new card before. Supposed to be a black water coming off of this? Attach what black battery cable? Wait, what? There isn't another cable. Not sure how this works. sure where this is. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to mount somewhere here. So I'm going to have to maybe create a bracket of some sort to get it on. But uh, we'll see how that goes down tomorrow. Let's get Let me see if I can get a battery on here to see if I uh, can't get this test started. All right, so I've got this. Uh, how do I make this wide angle? All right, so I've got this, uh, this here set up and uh, everything wired and I have uh, that clamped on like that and it's running off battery charger and I have just a random terminal on here feeding power to this that could be stand to be a little bit tighter but just for demonstration purposes and got the Controller hooked up right. There's the controller. Let's see. Oh, I guess the battery's too dead. But it did work. It was working. It was working on this makeshift thing like this. And there's not even like real good connection here. So it does prove that it was worse. Hopefully, uh, with a car running, you know. It'll be charging the battery already, so. Alright, so let it charge up for a bit. And yeah, it works.
really nice and smooth, really quiet. Boom. That's an operation. Good functional thing that'll go on the front of the truck. I might film me making a bracket for this. Possibly. I don't know, it depends. Because I've got a tow job to do tomorrow night. I'm definitely going to be utilizing this. So, might definitely have to make a bracket. Alright. That's going to be it for this one, though. Might film that. That might be next video, me making a bracket for this. Alright, so. How much of this can you see? Oh, crap. Alright, there you go. Uh, I thought I left off this video, or I thought I finished this video, and uh, I got another thing here for the winch. I'm gonna grab the, uh, the 13 here. I think this was a 13. out of the way okay that could have gone south but uh move the battery battery also from harbor freight if you couldn't tell by a recent string of videos, really like shopping at Harbor Freight. This is a winch mount, and uh, this goes on the back of your truck, goes into the tow hitch, and allows you to have an easily accessible mounting point for your winch. Now, I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to run the wiring from my winch to my battery, but I'm probably going to. Probably gonna hold on. Probably gonna cut up these. These seem like they're long enough for it to go all the way to my battery. Probably gonna cut these up, splice them on, solder them, and heat shrink them, and then hopefully that'll be good enough. I'm gonna need a longer set of those though. Probably gonna go to Walmart and uh, get me a high gauge set of that something similar to the gauge depth of the uh, already on the winch. Alright, so we've got the the side pieces here. I'm not going to be needing those. And then the actual Actual mount itself. All right. I like how this looks. It looks very well built. Yeah, nine thousand pounds. I believe that. That's the, that's the winch range. That also happens to. I mean, wait. What did I just say? Nine thousand pounds is the rating of this, and uh, my winch happens to be nine thousand pounds. Exactly. So. It's almost as if it was made to go on here. Uh, so now I just got to figure out how the hell to mount this.
this is what it ended up looking like. I'd say it looks pretty good. You got the Badlands EXR 9000 here. You got the hitch receiver mount thing for the back of your truck. And uh, yeah, I'm going to figure out how to wire this up in a, probably another video because those leads are definitely too short. Possibly using those jumper cables. Possibility. But uh, yeah, this is going to be that for this video.